Hello and welcome again viewers and subscribers of AVG News. My name is Oli Sengobe. Uh, it is with sadness that I made this video following some videos that I know that some of you have already seen and some pictures and news that we're getting from Harare. Uh, the news is that, the very very sad news is that a triple C supporter who has been identified as Mr. Tinashe Tsunge has been fatally stoned in Harare. He is a Harare resident from Glenview 7 and we are told the details are still sketchy right now but we are told that he has been fatally stoned in Harare that is the capital city of Zimbabwe by suspected ZANU-PF or alleged ZANU-PF uh, supporters so what happened here according to the sketchy details that we have is that uh C supporters were they were on their way to a rally in the capital city and along the way they met their zanu pf counterparts and clashes ensued we don't know uh, as yet who provoked those clashes but uh, what we hear is that some clashes ensued and during the process uh, there were stonings and eventually Mr. Tinashe Kitsunge became a victim uh, of that uh, stoning and he was fatally stoned. We have seen some very disturbing pictures of him lying on the ground in a pool of blood. Uh, there is a video that many of you might already have seen uh, of a triple C uh, truck or lorry which was carrying a few triple c supporters and a number of uh, people in zanu pf regalia confronting them at first they some were passing through and they were they, 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 they exchanged some words and then the video uh, goes hazy and shaky uh, to the point that nothing can be seen anymore although there are noises of people I think this was during uh, this clash between Triple C supporters uh, and their ZANU PF counterparts, and this unfortunately has resulted in a loss of life. Uh, and we, as we always say, uh, it is not worth killing or dying for, uh, especially when it involves our politics, not only Zimbabwean politics, but politics in general. There is no political party, no political ideology, or political pursuit, or political leader worth killing or dying for. Elections are just an event. They come once after every five years, or occasionally where there are by-elections. I was very much impressed uh, during the, I mean, earlier this week, when I had Vice President uh, Constantino Chiwenga drumming up a message of peace in Kai and his uh, words were echoed again by President Emerson Nangakwa who said that let us campaign peacefully, let us exercise our democratic right to belong to any political party of our choice to attend any rally of our choice, to vote any political party or candidate of our choice without having to resort to violence. And I thought that perhaps Zimbabwe has come of age, Zimbabwean politics has come of age, Zimbabwean political leaders and political activists have come of age and we are going to see a, a, a peaceful election uh, which would mirror what we had largely in 2018 before the announcement of the results which then uh, saw us just before the announcement of the results again we saw people being killed but generally before then we had seen an atmosphere of relative calm an atmosphere whereby we saw some triple c supporters and zanu pf supporters exchanging calabashes of beer uh, somewhere in Bulawayo and they would meet even in Harare without uh, any skirmishes. But now it seems that Zimbabwe is cascading back to the post-general uh, election uh, level of 2008 where in the runoff 
in the run up to the presidential runoff we saw a lot of violence so uh, i i hope uh, that the police in zimbabwe because we have seen videos uh, some of these people who committed this atrocity can be seen uh, in that video i hope and pray that the law enforcement agents will use this video uh, and any other pictures as evidence uh, and indicators for who might have done this kind of uh, of, of dastardly act and we hope that these people are going to be arrested and taken to court where they will be made to pay for their sins although i remain skeptical about the ability of the zimbabwean police to deal with political violence especially when uh, zanu pf supporters have been fingered i still hope against hope that this time these people who made that uh, another zimbabwean for his political choice are going to be accounted for but not only them everybody who participated in this kind of violence regardless of which political party they belong to or support are going to be arrested because it is not the time for us to be pointing fingers uh, across each other but these culprits must be arrested regardless of which political party they belong to uh, but we know for certain that a victim here in triple c regalia has been killed unless and until we get answers as to who killed them we will not have confidence in the zimbabwe republic police we will not have confidence uh, in the law enforcement agency in zimbabwe we will not have confidence in the words that were uttered by the president and his vice in in kai the way the the, the 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 message that has also been drummed by zanu pf supporters uh, and officials that we have interviewed uh, in, on this channel, they have all come out to say political violence is bad, to say Zimbabweans must be free to exercise their political choice. And we thought that this was them coming out, coming of age, and that for once in a very long while, we are going to have peaceful elections in Zimbabwe. We are going to have people exercise their right to belong and to participate in politics without any fear of, rep of reprisals, any fear of violence. And we must also think beyond our political jackets, beyond our political uh, circles, on the impact that is this, this kind of thing is likely to have in Zimbabwe and on the Zimbabwean economy. This is the time where Zimbabweans must be demonstrating to the world that although we have our political differences, although we have different political ideologies, although we have dis different political aspirations, and although we follow different political parties and I mean and different political leaders, we still have that in us. Uh, which says we are Zimbabweans, we are one people, we are a people that are divided so much ideologically because we want we have different views on how we can rebuild our political party i mean our politi our, our economic uh, our economy our economic uh, fortunes as a country that has been for more than two decades now uh, backwards moving backwards in terms of economic development in terms of social development and in terms of social and political tolerance i hope that for once the police are going to do what they are supposed to do investigate this case fairly and get to the bottom of the matter arrest whoever was involved in this violence including those that have killed a fellow Zimbabwean, that have killed a brother, that have killed a breadwinner, that have killed a father, that have killed a son of fellow Zimbabweans. So I believe and hope that this as well is going to be the last that we see and hear of political violence bearing, uh, raising or rearing its ugly head uh, in our country. We have suffered enough. Zimbabwe is producing probably the largest uh, number of refugees, be they economic uh, or political, for a country that is not uh, in any armed conflict. And we hope that uh, this 
is going to herald a new era in which police do not take sides and begin to investigate and arrest people, arrange them before courts and get them convicted for their part in political violence. I thank you very much. I hope uh, that those of you who attended this uh, rally or who witnessed this kind of dastardly act uh, being committed are also going to uh, assist police in getting to the bottom of this matter and accounting for whoever did this and whoever participated in this act of political violence. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like this video and share it. I thank you.